Five Things INFPs Often Say INFPs are not the extroverted type, so often their expression of emotion with words tends to be few, but often carries significant meanings, which continually marvels the hearer when expanded. This doesn't mean they always speak in parables and allow you to research so that you can understand the sense of what they say. Instead, it shows their people who talk less and listen more. So, when they pinpoint something about you, no matter how little they made it seem when you get to hear those things, you'll notice it was embedded in meaning. Apart from things with grave meaning, INFPs can be identified by the phrases they often use, either for defense or discussion. Here are some of them. 1. Sorry This can be an INFP's answer to almost anything. INFPs, as humans, often mingle and meet people. And as they meet these people and share their life or experiences with them, it's not possible that conflicts will not arise, because we are all flawed as ordinary beings. And often, sorry is the magic word they blurt out when chaos arises. They say this word not only when they wrong you, because even when they were the ones wronged, but they also tend to send out the first apologetic word to ensure there's peace. 2. How are you feeling? How are you doing? is a question we usually ask people to show concern. But at a time, it seems like a typical question that everyone who sees you is meant to ask. But INFPs usually ask these questions out of curiosity, not because every person's asking, but because they care and want to know how you're doing. And if there are scenarios that they can help with, they will do so. 3. I feel To have a clear mind in taking actions... We are expected not to let our emotions cloud our judgments so that we won't do things we'll regret much later on. But with INFPs, it's different. They don't allow emotions to cloud their judgments. Instead, it guides them. They tend to follow their intuitive mind to do things. So to start statements, I feel, just might be their head word. 4. Can you clarify what you mean by that? It's not always a question of talking much for INFPs. Instead, making sense. While discussing with a mediator, you can't expect them to take in all your information without asking for clarification. They tend to always want to get to know the drive behind many things and their etymology. So when they're at their creative point, they'd use it and realize they're factual. 5. I understand and smiles. Some things are better unsaid, maybe because of angst. It might cause others or prevent the present audience from understanding some things. Either way, those things are not to be mentioned. INFPs are one of the personality types that allows this. They prefer something kept to base so chaos can be avoided. Please, let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Thanks for watching this video.